Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back. This is uh, Blood and Wine. Uh, before we get going, we're just going to refill our decoctions. We need to try and confront uh, Vivian, and oh, we're over the weight limit here too. Let's grab our echidna, and is it... We need the fiend decoction. Here it is. Something's going on with her. She is... I don't know, there's some magic surrounding her. Um, be it a curse or something. I'm not sure. And pray don't scoundrel, ever seeking Lady Vivian. Pray don't scoundrel. Nice. It can. Oh, start no brawls. Start no brawls. Great. So, <laughs> this is, uh. I like that actually, that name. Grey Dome Scoundrel. That's good. There's something up with her, and I think she knows that we know. And she probably knows that we know she knows we know, hmm. if you know what I'm saying. Strange. <laughs> We're sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa. Ah. Oh, maybe she is the bird. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Flew off. Worth going after. <laughs> okay. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Let's keep up. Move it. I can barely see it. Oh, now we're too fast. We've got boars out here. Whoa! Something's making noise. What is that? Panther. I wonder if she's the panther. Oh, there's like a bunch of them. Okay, I doubt that she's a panther then if there's more than one. They don't seem to be bothering me too much. Where is it leading? There's tons of panthers. Why? I'm not too sure. But I think we can safely just avoid them. Well, now we have two. Hey, yeah. Oh, what's up here? Whoa. Okay, make, this might be easier on foot. The bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Oh, okay. I do see the cave entrance. Here we go. A white? A white is... Let's double check here. Is a white one of the... Draconids? No. Is it a specter? Wraiths. Okay. Ah, it's a necrophage. Beautiful. Whoa. Okay, pretty strong. Bad news. This is really bad news. They don't give a shit about that. Come 
Come on, take one down. Are you serious? This is like the strongest white of all time. Oh no, oh, this is bad. Come on, let me out. Holy. What are we using here? I mean, our sword should be great. Um. Hmm. It's just strong. Go, go! Whoa, what the? I don't know what we got going on here. We should probably look at a potential cat potion here. It'd be awesome if we could filter these a little bit cleaner. Here, let's go ahead and do this. I know we don't need to be going this way, but... Rose Tree Hill. Okay. Let's do this. No sign of the bird anymore. Guillaume mentioned a clearing in the woods. Vivian strolling around it at night. Could find her there. Wait until midnight and find the glade in the woods. Oh my god. Okay. Let's throw this fiend decoction on again. I guess because we rested there, we lost track of the bird. she is. Was she the bird, I wonder? Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting Look lost. Look at her, yeah. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I wanted them here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Well, she thinks we're gonna kill her? And what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. That's not at all what's and going on quickly, here. And do it quickly, I beg you. Whoa. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Wow. I'm not 100% what is going on here. I don't know if this is a curse, or... Only thing I've figured out so far is you're no danger to anyone. Hope to learn more, though. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? 
Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. I don't think I have any reason to. I will be discreet. I swear this on the Heron. You mock me. No, it's just... You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. Hmm. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What did the creature look like? Was it similar? Parents ever described the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. And what happened next? What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. That's sad. I think there's two things. We can try and help you, but also you should know that using those illusions can be pretty dangerous. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. Hmm. If you want... I guess she is trying to hide it. I don't know if this is something that she does totally want to get rid of, but... It's not something she's representing in public, so... The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? You could try. Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. <laughs> Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. She doesn't want to inflict it on anyone else. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Whoa, okay. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, I never thought I would get one. 
I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. And she'd make the most of the seven years, why. for sure. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Um, yeah. We can go back. Let's. But are you gonna... Uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. Why is it that the water does that? You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. How brief? Mm, interesting. Come. Okay, I'm intrigued. This is good. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or... I don't know. Yeah, but she doesn't Console even... her at the least. She doesn't care. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm gonna keep it to ourselves. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. Hell, things have changed. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you, I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? No, I'll do it. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. He's kind of a sassy little guy, you know? I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Mm -hmm. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. If you swing your blade as deftly as you shoot, we shall win. No Good pressure. Luck. No pressure. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. All right, we're doing this. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries, shall fight, full tilt, till one dropped to its knees. Whose virtue it draws, or lance blows, unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath-baited. 
Oh, there she is. Whoever here wins the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Okay, are we just... I think we're just getting thrown in here. Let uh -oh. us begin! Clout Resaracus! Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Oh, I can't use... Uh-oh. Come on, kind of loser. Come on. Now there's but graphics, though he's far from done. When all the dust clears, shall he have won? Go on! No remorse! Whoa! Oh, I'm literally five on one now. Okay, that guy's gonna bleed out. Yep, he's down. This is not going to be easy. No mercy. I shall never retreat, not one step. Come, no. come to this embrace. My team dropped like rocks. That's enough of that. No. There we go. Got the poisoning off. Poison, that's helpful. You shall finish, evil tool. We go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes, my yes, my lord. That's the right. words never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such fervor, each knight was victorious. Yet in Tony's as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Raphix of Forhorn, who the strength of lions boasts. He sails through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? I hope not. For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground's last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. <laughs> I can't believe my whole team just dropped immediately. There she is, just watching over. And now I guess we have a showdown, one on one. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The brave knight Rafix hails from Forhorn. 
It might sound fictitious, yet there he was born. <laughs> now entering the grounds, a tight ton of infamy. Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of last history. I'll admit, that's intimidating. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Okay. They seek the crowns, the titans locked stairs, ferocious and cry at those hunting pairs. Mesdames and Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequals, and silent Gregoire de Gorgon. Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! Oh. Is he really reading sponsors? Oh, back. Okay, he's not so shabby. He's strong. But he's slow. We did it. That's not too bad. Fix of Fahorn! This is champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Ralfix! Sadfix! Sadfix! He just did an echo. This guy. He brings the life to this show. As patron of this grand tourney, I've the honor to decorate our grand champion. He made no vow, yet throughout the tourney demonstrated knightly virtue that doubtless carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Ravix of Four Horn Sword. The least you should do is obey. I wonder what happens next year when we most likely don't return to defend our title. my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tent's grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. I can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? I haven't hatched anything. No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. It's a bit harsh. Return only once you've cooled off. 
Then leave me be forevermore. Understood. It's gonna devastate My lady, them. but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the witchers see. Out now! Oh no, poor guy. I mean, he did get a little. Oops. You assured me I could trust you. You can. I didn't tell him anything. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Yeah, and I didn't tell him. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt! When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Yeah, and that's fine. I'm ready to do that. I need to find an Oriole egg and we'll do it. Need to find he just an showed egg. up. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. I had originally thought that her necklace might have something to do with it, but I don't think it has anything to do with it. 